invite you to enjoy life. Life with Luigi, a new comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carol Nash, with Alan Reed as Pasquale. A year ago, when Luigi Vasco left Italy to start his new life in America, he promised his mother that he would write and tell her about his adventure. So well, now let's read Luigi's letter as he writes to Mama Vasco in Italy. Dear Mamma Mia, America is a land with a very high standard of a living. Everybody is saving the money so he can buy a refrigerator, a washing machine, a dishwasher, and a vacuum cleaner. Seems like everybody here has got these things. People who can afford it, they buy. People who can no afford it, they go on a quiz program. <laughs> Another big American thing. Everybody has got a car. They got all kinds of here. There's the sedans, the trailers, the trucks. And Americans are so rich that they even got a car for chickens. That's called a coop. <laughs> a car is a wonderful thing. You remember, Mama, me in the old country during the war, how American boy is taking me for driving as a car? Well, it wasn't exactly a car. It was something like a cement mixer. <laughs> and he's a call of a jeep. <laughs> Mama, me, how that car is a shake. Remember once how we go for a ride? Me and Uncle Pietro and his goat. And when we come back, I'm losing my watch. <laughs> Uncle Pietro is losing his teeth. <laughs> and the goat is refused to give a milk for three days. <laughs> Since that time, I'm always the one to own my own car. And after one year, I'm going to save $100. And now I'm going to make my dream come true. Of course, with $100, I'm not going to afford the new 1949 car. I'm going to have to be satisfied with a 48. <laughs> but right now is the time for my night school class, so I'm going to go and ask my teacher, Miss Spaulding, for advice about the buying a car. <laughs> class. All right, let's come to attention. I'll call the roll. Mr. Basco? Present. Mr. Harwood? Present. Mr. Olson? Present. Mr. Schultz? Absent. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, you're present. Why do you say absent? I just want to create a sensation. <laughs> oh, thank you, fellow boobers. Thank you. All right, Mr. Schultz, you can stop bowing. Now, class, our lesson... Oh, yes, Mr. Basco, what is it? Well, I'm spoiling... Today is a big day in my life, and I'm like so much if the classes are helping me. Well, certainly, Mr. Basco. What is it? Well, today I'm going to buy my own car. A car? And, uh, oh, no, it is a big shot. A big shot is an explosion. Class, <laughs> please. Mr. Basco, why don't you wait until after the bell? I'm sure one of your classmates can help you in the selection of a car. Now, class, our lesson for today is spelling, and we are going to study words which contain letters that we don't pronounce. Now, Mr. Basco, will you volunteer to spell the word knife? Knife. K-N-I-F. The E is a silent. <laughs> Not exactly. Mr. Schultz, will you try? I try, but I don't give a guarantee. <laughs> knife. It be... Just a moment, Mr. Schultz. <laughs> there is no B in knife. This is a Boy Scout knife. <laughs> Class, I will spell the word. K-N-I-F-E. K-N-I-F-E. That's Kniffy. <laughs> no, the word is nice. K is the silent letter. K is always silent in front of N. Is that so? What about Knockbook? <laughs> Please. Now, will someone in the class give us an example of another word with a silent letter? Oh, yes, Mr. Olson? Yeah. <clears throat> in the sentence, I gnash my teeth. Nash is spelled G-N-A-S-H, and the G is silent preceding the N. <laughs> oh, what a show-off. If I was so smart, I'd shoot myself. 
<laughs> please, Mr. Schultz, please. That was excellent, Mr. Olson. Excuse me, Miss Pauling. I'm always annoyed that the Nash has a silent motor, but uh, this is silent the G is in the 49 model or two. <laughs> now, that's the kind of fella I like. That's a dumbbell. <laughs> No, no, Mr. Basco. I can see you can't get your mind off cars. Now, uh, can anyone here tell Mr. Basco where to get a car? Luigi? Uh, how about Louis the lunatic? That's right, Luigi. You go right down to Automobile Row on Dearborn Street. Dearborn Street? Yeah, yeah, but you've got to be careful with these dealers, you know. They are all sharpshooters. On account of them, my brother Ludwig got the best buy in his life. In three years, he's never had a flat, never had to change a spark plug, never uses any oil, no trouble at all. What is he a buy? A horse and wagon. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Schultz, I'm getting a little tired of your... Oh, oh that's okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh, sometimes they act like a lot of little school children. Cannot voice. <laughs> Excuse me, mister. I'm a like to buy a car here. Yes, sir. You picked the right lot. I got just what you want. 2300 2700 3500 Anything you like, drive it right out. How much do you want to spend? One hundred dollars. Well, come on over here around the back. We might find something for you. All right. Ah, now, there we are. Here is a fine selection of cars around the $100 class. Ah, nice, eh? It looks just like a museum. <laughs> yeah. Well, now, let's see. Just what kind of a car do you have in mind? How, how about a convertible, eh? Do you like to drive with the top down? No, I'm always aware of hat. Uh, well, uh, how about this car here? Do you like it? It's an old. No, that's a too old. <laughs> Hey, mister, did you ever drive a car before? Well, a long time ago in the old country. Oh, I you see. You see, I'm not too long from Italy. I see. Well, now, buddy, I got just the car for you. <laughs> yes, sir, here it is, a stut. Hardly been used in the last 32 years. <laughs> well, look at the dashboard, only 5,000 miles. And I'm the original guy who pushed back the speedometer. <laughs> is it good, huh? Oh, it's sensational. Not like any ordinary car, you know. This car is different. No windshield, no bumpers, no radio, no heater, no spare tire, no fuel pump, no radiator. Just a good, honest set of used parts. Uh-huh. <laughs> now, I'm not so sure that you've got the money. If you've got it, put up or shut up. That's the American way. Well, sure, sure. I got the money here. Well, that's the ticket. One hundred old dollar bills. We've been waiting for you. Here's the bill of sale. Sign right here. You got a driver's license? No, but I can drive. Okay, then drive right down to City Hall. Get a learner's permit. Hop in. That's right. We stand behind every car we sell. Only way we can push them off the lot. Get set. Goodbye. All right. <laughs> Goodbye. Mama Mia, we're going to fight. Three, four, five miles an hour. <laughs> You got a job in a circus? <laughs> what are you talking about, Pasquale? How about just to buy myself a car? Or what does it look like? How many guesses do you give me? Are uh, you just a saying that because I didn't need any help from you? No help from me, eh? Hey, Luigi, why are you putting those two blocks under the front wheel? That's an intervention emergency, Brick. <laughs> Pasquale, I know it's not the best car, but at least it's all the mine. 
Now I can drive down the street and everybody is to say, Look, Luigi. He's a look like a real American. Yeah, in this car you look like a real American. Buffalo Bill. <laughs> uh, tell me something, Luigi. You got auto insurance? Auto insurance? What's that? Well, it's like a life insurance. Oh. Only you don't get paid until the car dies. <laughs> Looking under your car, I'm thinking somebody's already collected. <laughs> Then, I, then I'm going to need the insurance. Oh, but there's insurance you've got to have that's much more important. That's for accidents. There's a single indemnity, that's if you hit a one person. Then there's a double indemnity, that's if you hit a twins. <laughs> but Pasquale, I'm not going to hit anybody. What are you talking about? you got a car? Use it. <laughs> but Pasquale, I'm just spending all of my money on my car. I'm not going to afford this insurance. Ooh. Luigi, that's a bad. Bad? Terrible. Tell me, little man, you got an operator's license? For Pasquale, what for? I'm need operator license. I'm not going to work for the phone company. <laughs> I can show how stupid you are. Operator license is a meaning when you hit somebody, you got a license to operate on them right away. <laughs> and you ain't got that either. Oh, Pasquale, all I'm a got is a learner's permit and a book of rules to study. What am I going to do? I should never have bought a car without asking you advice first. Now, that's the first the smarter thing I've heard since we started talking. <laughs> Luigi, when I'm going to see you look so sad, my heart is a mess like a parmesan and cheese and a hot of spaghetti. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do for you? What, the Pasquale? I'm going to pay for you auto insurance. I'm going to see to it, you get your operator license, your driver license, oh. and instead of this old jalopy, I'm going to buy you a brand new car. Pasquale, you're going to do all of this for me. But why? Because I'm a love of you, you little pumpkin I have. <laughs> With eyes are like a two pumpkin seeds and a nose are haggardy like a banana. <laughs> oh, stop it, Pasquale. You're making me blush in the street. And now that I'm going to do you a little favor... Maybe you'd do me a little of favor. <laughs> favor? What the favor you want I should do for you? Well, while you down a city hall are getting your driver's a license and your operator's a license, maybe you go to the next window and get a one or more license. Well, sure, Pasquale. What the kind of license you want I should get? Marriage license for my daughter, Rosa. <laughs> no, Pasquale, I'm not going to marry Rosa. She's a too fat for me. Luigi, it's a no fair to call a girl a fat just because she's happened to weigh 240 pounds. 250. <laughs> what do you say? I say 250. I say 240. She's a no have her supper yet. <laughs> hey, Luigi, do me a favor. Just to marry Rosa for a little while. You'd be surprised how my little flower she's going to grow out of you. Pasquale, I'm a no flower pastor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you big stupid. And now I'm going to tell you something. They're never going to give you a driver license with that old wreck you bought. No? No, you're lucky if you stay out of jail. Jail? Sure. When you start driving through the streets like a crazy man, chasing the people down the cellars and up the roofs and running for their lives... You know what it's going to say in a newspaper headline? What? The... Chicago's a hit to buy a new atom bomb. <laughs> Mamma mia, I'm just start out to buy a car, and now I'm lucky if America doesn't declare a war on me. And now for the second act of Luigi Basco's adventures in Chicago, we turn to page two of his letter to his mother in Italy. So, Mamma Mia, although I'm realizing my big ambition to own a car like a real American, I'm afraid it's going to bring me a lot of trouble. Pasquale is to say my car is a look so terrible, I'm never going to get driver's license, so I'm going to try to fix it up. I'm going to shine up with the car nice and clean with the two cans of his shoe polish. <laughs> also, I'm going to put the wallpaper on the inside. <laughs> and to make the car look more expensive, I'm going to paint a spare tire on the back. <laughs> but still, I'm having a lot of trouble with the car. Three times a day, the street cleaning department has tried to take it away. <laughs> 
biggest trouble I'm having is reading the rule book and trying to learn the traffic rules for my driving test. Mamma mia, what the rules? Put a hand out for left to turn, a hand out for right to turn, a hand out for a stop, a hand out for a go. Mamma mia, this is a book must be for a man with a four hands. <laughs> so I'm sitting here studying when it suddenly has opened up my door. Luigi, my friend, I was just passing by and I had to stop in. I just saw your car outside and I congratulate you on making such a wonderful deal. Oh, I thank you, sure. <laughs> How much did the man pay you for taking it off his lap? <laughs> Schultz, please, I'm paying a man $100 for this car. $100? Schultz, do you think I was stuck? Stuck? Luigi, you was harpooned. <laughs> With a car like that, I got only one piece of advice for you. What should I keep moving? Because if you ever stop, people will think you are in an accident. <laughs> well, I got to go now. Goodbye, Luigi. Goodbye, Schultz. Oh, Luigi, cheer up, be smile. Nothing in this world is worth crying about. For a Schultz, I'm spending my life down on a bad car, and I'm gonna go today for a driving test. I'm not gonna understand the rules, and all that's left for me is to marry Pasquale's daughter, Rosa. If you was in my place, what would you do? Himmel, would I let out a scream? <laughs> Well, Luigi, I really got to go now. Now, come on, Luigi, be like me, always happy. Smile, smile. <laughs> My rheumatism is killing me. <laughs> yeah. Mamma mia, another hour I got to take my driving test. Well, I better look in this traffic ruler book and study some more rules. To make a left hand turn, turn into the lane to the right of the center, turning into the roadway. <laughs> but to do not turn. <laughs> Mama me, I'm a think I'm a got a lost at the last turn. <laughs> well, I read it some more. To make a left inter. Hello, Luigi, my little friend and my countryman. What's new with you? Huh? Squally, ain't you mad at me no more? Me? I'm mad at you? Why, Luigi, shame on you. You should have known me better than that. You know, there's a two sides to my face. If one side is a mad out of you, the other side is a glad out of you. You know that. You're so right, Pasquale. That's the why everybody is calling you two-faced. <laughs> That's the funny thing. When I'm saying it, it come out of different. <laughs> Hey, Luigi, what's that the pamphlet you're reading? Well, Pasquale, I gotta go for drivers a test in an hour, and I'm studying the rules just so I should have passed. Luigi, I'm gonna help you out. Nobody's to know more about a driver's a test than me. I'm gonna take it a ten times. <laughs> <laughs> then maybe you can tell me, Pasquale. All through this book is this word. Vecca. V E H I C E. Ooh, Luigi, you lucky you got me to explain to you. That's a vehicle. That's a mean a car what's a drunk. That's a, that's a what they call the auto intoxication. See, the lots I can teach you. Now, say you drive in a car, you hit a man inside his home. What's this to call? What? Home in the side. <laughs> Big punishment is a go for that. Very big. They stamp on your license. You must wear glasses. <laughs> Papa Squally, thank you. Maybe now I have a chance to pass. Tell me, what do you mean by zones? That's a simple. Driving a car is like a game. It's a three kind of zones. T-zone, free zone, and an end zone. <laughs> if you hit a man in the T-zone... Is he not going to smoke no more? <laughs> and if you hit him in the end of zone, they push your car back a five yards. What's the free zone? That's the meaning you can park for nothing. <laughs> now take the traffic lights. Is the green light that's for go? Is the red light that's for stop? What's the yellow light for? That's for women to drive. They can do whatever they want. (laughs) 
Oh, Pasquale, thanks so much for your help. Don't mention it, Luigi. You just give it these answers like I'm going to tell you, and you're going to be fixed up for good. <laughs> Pardon me, mister. You've been waiting here for two hours. What are you waiting for? Well, you've been calling for people who want the applicant. I'm waiting till you call people who want the driver's license. Oh, I see. Well, take your learned permit to booth seven over there, and the inspector will give you your test. Thank you very much. Booth the seven. Oh, there it is. Mamma mia, how am I going to drive my car in that little boot? <laughs> Oh, excuse me, mister. Uh, have a seat. You got your car outside? Yes. All right, now I'll ask you a few routine questions. First, uh, explain your hand signal. Sure. To make a signal, you got to stick out to your left hand. First, you got to let the window down. <laughs> left hand is to single right to turn, left to turn, and a pass. That's the width of the palm down. The palm down? When do you stick your hand out with the palm up? Only when you want to see if it's raining. <laughs> uh, are you sure you can drive a car? Sure, I'm sure. Well, let's go on outside for the road test. All right. Hi oh, there. There's my car over there. Is that your car? Uh-huh. I think we have a law covering that. <laughs> Let me look in my book under the seas. Condemned. <laughs> hmm. They must have overlooked this model. Well, let's get in. Uh, does this car always sag like this? Oh, no. Only when a people is a sit in it. <laughs> okay, start it up. Choke it, choke it. Choke it to where am I going to grab it? <laughs> you pull the choke out there. Oh. <laughs> All right, it's out. Then now where should I put it? <laughs> oh, brother. Step on the gas. The cars are gone. You see it to work. If it's too windy for you, I'm going to stop and put in the windshield. <laughs> Never mind. This is like going through D-Day again. <laughs> yeah, all right, there's a sign. It says no U-turn. What does that mean? Well, that's the simple. It says no U-turn. That's to mean it's my turn. <laughs> look. Look, there's a stop sign. You want I should have stopped? I dare you. <laughs> of course, stop. Stop right on the corner of First Street. All right. I said First Street, not Second Street. <laughs> well, I was a close. <laughs> Is it not so good, huh? Well, watch me on a signal. Hey, didn't you see that car behind you? Where's your rear vision mirror? What the fuck? I need the rear mirror. If I'm going to want to see who's behind me, I'm going to look back like it is. Hey, look out! Look out! Look out! Mamma mia, the car is a stop, but the inspector is to keep on a going. <laughs> All right, Mr. Basco, the test is over. You ride back, I'll walk. <laughs> but the why? I'm be happy to drive you back into my car. What are you, a sadist? <laughs> it's a nice day, the sun is shining, I got a wife and four kids. I'll walk. Well, all right, so you walk. I'm a driver. When you get there, wait for me. <laughs> Too bad, and he was doing so well. <laughs> Luigi, my friend. Hello, Lu. Luigi, what are you doing with that steering wheel in your hand? Pasquale, 
I'm a just the type of my driver's attention. Luigi, look at you. Hair was all a must up, a clothes are dirty and a torn, a face all a banged up, you walking with a limp. You don't look like a driver, you look like a pedestrian. <laughs> What's happened? He's all a mixed up. All I know is that when I was driving back to the license bureau myself, a car is a come after me. I'm a signal for a stop. I'm a put out the boat in my hands, but it's a big crash. <laughs> oh, Luigi. It is all my fault. I put my left hand out of the left window. But to my right hand, it wasn't long enough to reach the other window. <laughs> Neither you get your driver's license. But, Swelly, not only am I not to get my license, but they take away my learner's permit. They say I'm a no can drive for at least the one year. And I'm not allowed to walk in the streets for two days. <laughs> Luigi, Luigi, how could a one man get himself into so much of trouble? Believe me, Pasquale, it's not easy. <laughs> what am I going to do? Man who's got on my head is to say he's going to sue me for everything I'm got. Worse than that, Luigi. Man has probably got a 20 years of life in assurance. That means he can get you 20 years of the life. <laughs> Mama mia, Pasquale, save me, please. Luigi, don't beg. I'm going to help you out of everything. I'm even going to buy you a new car so you still can be proud and like an American. Just to do me one a favor. <laughs> All right, Pasquale. I'll marry your daughter. Well, say it like you mean it. Go ahead. She's awake. And call her yourself. All right. Russia. <laughs> Russia. Put some feeling in it. Russia. Yes, my little angel, you lovers are calling you himself. Rosa, say hello to Luigi. Oh, hello, Luigi. Hello, Rosa. Rosa, poor little Luigi was just in a terrible auto accident. What do you say to him? <laughs> Luigi, you want a band-aid? Oh, shut up your face. <laughs> Well, my children, I'm going to give you my blessing, and we're going to tell everybody... Oh, Mr. Basto, I'm so glad I found you in. Mama mia, that's the man who's a car I'm a hit. I'm going to fix everything, mister. Oh, are you his attorney? Well, look, I admit everything. It was all my fault. I'm, I'm willing to make amends. But uh, I had no right to be driving that car. I had no driver's license, no permit, nothing. But, uh, This has taught me a terrible lesson. Mr. Basco, I'm prepared to pay for my mistake. Could you promise not to press suit? I'm not to press suit. Oh, Oh, thank you. I'm always a senator Taylor. <laughs> but uh, now, Mr. Basco, let's settle this whole thing right here. I'm willing to pay you whatever that car is worth, say, uh, uh, five hundred dollars. Oh uh, no, a thousand dollars? No, no, no. Okay, you got me against the wall. How much do you want for the car? One hundred dollars. <laughs> A hundred dollars? Well, here, take it, and thank you very much. Wait, they're not so fast. There's something else. What's the matter? Were you hurt? I got a hole in my pencil from the accident. It's going to cost you 40 cents for the patch. <laughs> here, and thank you. And good night. But, uh, well, the Pasquale, thank you for teaching me about the traffic rules. Your assistant. But, uh, Luigi, what a fall you sticking out of your hand now? I'm making a right to turn the back to my store. But what about a rose, a butt to Luigi? Good to buy a butt. <laughs> Be sure to listen next week at this time over most of these stations when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his mama Basco describing his adventures in America. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production that is written by Mac Benoff and Lou Demon and directed by Mac Benoff. Gay Carol Nash has starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as the Swallow. Aunt Connery the Schultz and Mary Ship as Miss Falder. Music is under the direction of Lynn Murray. Bob Stevenson speaking. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System. <laughs>